Hey guys, it's Cassie here with Math OMG. Today we're going to be talking about projection vectors. Specifically, we're going to be taking one vector and projecting it on top of the other one. Now there's a couple base skills that you need to know to do this. Um, because I'm feeling a little lazy and overwhelmed with teaching right now, I'm just going to make one video that encompasses all of that. So there's a list right here, or right here somewhere, that has all the skills that this video is going to encompass so that if you're looking for something different but a specific skill within this video you'll know that if you watch this video you can find it. So the first thing we need to look at is this is the formula for a projection vector. So if I want to take a vector and project it onto another one I use this. And this right here, this little circle, it's called the dot product, and I'm going to talk about what that is. So I'm going to find the dot product of u uh, with v, and then I take the magnitude of u, or v, sorry, squared, and multiply that by the vector v, and that is my projection vector. So let's go through and do that with this first one. So the first thing you want to observe in this is that you're given vectors u and v, and u and v are both in component form. I like to write that down because it's really important that you know what form you're in so that you know if I'm in linear form or component form. So they're both in component form, that's pretty much it. And I have this diagram here kind of showing what this represents. My mission is to project U onto V. So my mission is to take U Find the vector projection of u onto v. So take u, and let me just make sure I write this down correctly. So I'm going to take, this is how you write it, the projection of u onto v. So the notation is always what throws me off. I always get my u's and v's mixed up. So I'm projecting u onto v, so v is your subscript and u is kind of your input if you want to think about it that way. So I'm going to use u dot product of u and v over the magnitude of my v vector squared times v. Now if I was projecting the other way, I would just switch all my u's and v's. That's the only difference. So if it said project v onto u, I would just put u's and v's here and I would just switch everything. Now to do that, I'm going to just use the formula I just wrote down up there. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to take, the first things I need to know is the dot product of u and v. So dot product is actually like a really simple concept. You take the first coordinates in each vector and you multiply those together. So I'm going to do 6 times 5 and then you add it to the second coordinate in each vector. So negative 5 and 2. Multiply those together and then that's going to be your dot product. So 6 times 5 is 30 plus negative 10 is 20. Then the other part of the formula said I need to know the magnitude of v squared. So remember the magnitude formula is a squared plus b squared. So if I'm squaring that, that's pretty easy. That just means I'm not going to square root it. So my a value for v is 5, my v value is negative 5, so the magnitude of v squared is going to be equal to 5 squared plus negative 5 squared, which is 50. So then my formula says take the dot product of u and v over the magnitude of v squared and then multiply that by the vector v. So now that I have these numbers, I'm going to do 20 over 50 that's my parenthesis right here, and I'm going to multiply that by my vector v. So this is going to become my scalar. So my vector v is 5, negative 5. So I'm going to multiply each component by that. That's going to give me 100 over 50, and then negative 100 over 50. So that gives me, let me write that over here, that gives me 2, negative 2, so this right here, this is my projection vector. What that means is I had this vector u here at 6, 2, 
and I had my vector v here at 5, negative 5. So if I take u and I project it on to my vector v, this red part represents the projection vector I just found. So I took that vector and I projected it on top of my vector v. So that's the first part, finding my projection vector. The next part is trying to figure out how to find u as the sum of two orthogonal vectors, one of which needs to be that projection vector I just made. So I'm going to write that down. I'm going to write down that the projection vector of u onto v gave me that 2, negative 2. And then my mission is to figure out, okay, can I write u, so u is 6, 2, as two vectors. I'm going to call them um, u1 plus the projection vector here. So projection of v onto u, or u onto v. If I add these together, can I get 6, 2? And these right here, u1 and the projection of u onto v, these need to be orthogonal. So what that means is u1, the dot product of u1 and the projection of v onto u needs to equal zero. So when I use dot product and I'm trying to figure out if things are orthogonal, their dot product has to equal zero. So this is all kind of a lot of information, but it's actually pretty simple. So let's talk about what that looks like. I'm going to start with 2, negative 2. And I need to figure out 2, negative 2 times what vector equals 0. So the dot product of that and another vector equals 0. Then I also need to remember that when I add 2, negative 2 and this vector here, I'm just going to I'm just going to color it because there's so many notation and labels that it gets super overwhelming. So when I add the two vectors together, they need to equal that vector which is they need to equal our u, which is 6, 2. So if we try and figure this out, it's actually going to be pretty simple. If I'm trying to figure out what is going to give me 6, 2 here, if I take 6 and I subtract 2, that gives me 4. So I know that component is going to be 4. And then if I take 2 and I subtract negative 2, so I'm undoing, since I'm going to be adding here, the opposite of adding is subtracting. So I'm undoing that to go backwards, that's going to give me 4. So 2 plus 4 is 6, negative 2 plus 4 is 2. And so I'm going to check to make sure that this is orthogonal. So I'm going to check to make sure that their dot product is 0. So I take 2 times 4, which is 8. Then I'm going to take negative 2 times 4, which is negative 8. And when I add those together, I get 0. So not only have I found the projection vector right here, this is my projection vector, I have found that my projection vector and this vector here, 4, 4, are orthogonal. So these two vectors together are orthogonal, so they're perpendicular. They sum to my u, so my u was 6, 2, and they, that's it. I found two vectors that sum to give me u and or are perpendicular to each other because their dot product is zero. And that is it. That is everything for finding projection vectors and dot products and finding sums of vectors. So if that was confusing, please make sure to leave in the comments that you're totally confused and you have questions. If you leave the questions in the comments, I promise I will do my best to answer them and try to make this less confusing. Make sure you subscribe to get more videos on vectors. Thank you for watching and have a really good day. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. If you want to get better at math, subscribe to my videos here. If you want more information on math, click on my website link here.